League in batting. And a tapper towards the mound. Chen has a plate at the plate. He flips and he is out at the plate. What a play by Wei Yin Chen. Well, the Chenster. You know, you don't usually practice this way. But again, I mean, it doesn't really get any better than this. And I'm wondering if Floyd McClendon's going to come out and say about blocking the plate. But, I mean, look at this plate. Only way, because if you transfer the ball, but perfectly done. You get it to Caleb Joseph. Now, is he blocking the plate? Well, I don't think so. He gets the ball way ahead of time. I suppose you could say that maybe Jones gets the left hand in, but I'm not sure you could really turn that around if they challenge it. You're probably kind of waiting to see if they're going to do that, but what a play. Great pitch. Cano chases. And did he tag the arm? You certainly can't tell from that angle, but you could see him. He makes a nice kind of like right through and around the shin guard. Yeah. So McClendon must feel that the hand got in before the tag was applied. Well, I think, you know, it's first inning. If You know, if, if the challenge, it's a run, and you're not scoring a lot of runs. They, they, they lose a lot of one-run games here in Seattle, so why wouldn't you do it? Great angle right here, the high home. And certainly tags him. And yeah, I, I think he's out. Really looked out yeah. from that yeah. angle. I just don't think there's enough that you could turn it. Yeah, see. So maybe that's what he's saying is he blocked the plate. I, I, I just think that he was he had the ball before the runner. He has a chance where he can actually the way I interpret the rule or the way I feel is interpreted that he actually can block the plate if you get the throw. You can't block the plate if you don't have the ball. He has the ball. So now all of a sudden, what does he do? He goes to tag him. I would be very surprised if they change this. And if they do, Buck Showalter well, will be coming out of the dugout. Yeah, I mean, the, the home plate umpire, Jim Reynolds, didn't think anything was wrong there because he didn't call it. He just called the runner out. Yeah. And if uh, the umpire, who's got the plate right in front of him, felt that he blocked the plate. Well, his foot is actually on home plate, so he's not blocking it. And when you get the ball, if you get it, then you can go and up go to apply the attack. And you have to remember what about six weeks ago, Caleb Joseph said he was very kind of uh, you know not lackadaisical, but he because of the rulings didn't go out and block the plate. This time he gets the ball, he goes to tag his arm, and it appeared that he did that. Now I don't know if they're going to see it that way all the way across the country in New York. And they sure are taking a long time here. Crew chief is fielding Colbert. He's on your left, and Jim Reynolds, the umpire who made the call. Well, if I'm managing the Orioles, I'm Buck. I'm stretching my calves and the hamstrings and all that because if they do change this, I know you're not you're not supposed to be able to challenge challenges. So the runner may not run out of the direct line to initiate contact. That didn't happen. He can't block the pathway attempting to score without the ball. Well, he had the he ball. He had the ball. So you can throw that out, and then the umpire judgment on all calls. They apparently did not think that he had violated any rules. Maybe. So I, I'm not sure that he said he got the hand in. I guess he's saying that uh, maybe he prematurely blocked home plate. Well, Jones was nowhere near him before he had the ball. No. Well, otherwise, how do you actually go if you get the ball to initiate contact with the runner if you can't actually go between home plate and the runner? And that's what he did. Well, and you wonder what could be taking so long. Well. So there we go. He gets the ball. Now he's not blocking the plate. There's plenty of room to go, but as he turns, he tags him. Looks like he got the left arm. Right arm doesn't touch the plate. So now he's not in his way. He's caught it, he's making the tag. Again, this goes back about six weeks ago when you know, his interpretation of the rule is that he was uh, maybe, what would the word be? A little bit timid in making the tag. And again, you have to understand Caleb Joseph, first year in the big leagues, trying to interpret the rules. Everybody is having a little bit of problems with him as the season has commenced. I mean, form wise, it looked like he did what he is taught and what is legal and what he is supposed to do. The question is, why is it taking so long for the umpires to agree with that? Well, I'm sure that's of some concern to the Orioles because Cano, I. As, as we mentioned, he's hitting 354 with runners in scoring position. He's got 57 RBIs. And he called him out, as I think they should. 